hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video we are going to take another look on this new model mini cpm version 2.6 which is the latest and most capable model in the mini cpm v series this model is built on a siglip 400 million and unto 7 billion with a total of 8 billion parameters the model's performance is quite good i already have covered lots of um, variants and versions of mini cpm over the last few months and you can search them on the channel just yesterday we covered the same mini cpm version 2.6 but we tested it out with a local video and i would highly suggest that you watch this video which you can see at the top here and you will be amazed with the speed it was able to process that video simply mind-blowing but in this video after installing it locally we are going to try it out with some of the images most importantly i will be giving it some of the images for ocr or optical character recognition to see how much it has improved from its previous version because that is one of the model cards highlights that this new version mini cpm version 2.6 is quite good in ocr so that is uh, what we will be testing specially locally before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. Now, let's have a quick look at this uh, model. So this model introduces new features for multi-image and video understanding mini cpm 2.6 achieves an average score of more than 65 on the latest version of open compass and open compass is a comprehensive evaluation over eight popular benchmarks with only 8 billion parameters it surpasses widely used models like plot 3.5 sonnet gpt4 vision gemini 1.5 pro and we already have covered all of those models in the channel and you already know that they are really really good so beating these models on a single image understanding is really amazing and that is what we will be testing locally shortly too if you don't want to install it from their model card which i will drop the link in video description you can access their demo and then you can run it in the browser this model is also quite good when it comes to multi-image understanding and in-context learning. And they have shared a lot of benchmarking information on their page. One of the things which I am very curious to check out is that its strong OCR capabilities as I mentioned earlier. Because this model can process images with any aspect ratio and up to 1.8 million pixels which is roughly around 1344 by 1344 and that is not a small feat and that is what I am going to test. This is my Ubuntu system where I am running 22.04 and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy mass compute. Let me step into my Konda environment where we will be installing this model. First up, I am going to install all the prerequisites and these include torch, pillow, torch vision and all that stuff. Let's wait for it to get installed. This is going to take a bit of a time but I think I might already have most of them so it should be quick for me. And that is done and now let me launch my Jupyter notebook which is going to launch it in the browser. Let's wait for it. The notebook is launched. Let's import the libraries and then download the model. And you can see that we are downloading the mini CPM version 2.6 here and its tokenizer. And it is downloading the model plus its tokenizer. And it is now loading it on to my GPU. So let's wait for it. And that is all done. And now let's try to do the inference. First up, I am just giving it a local image from my um, system and this is the image which I am going to use. 
maybe I will also quickly show you the image here hopefully it is going to show me okay I just need it to sorry not like this okay I'm just going to remove it from here and I'm going to show it in the folder so I have just opened it it with pillow as you can see here and this is an image which just some scenery some kangaroos and birds at the top and then here I am asking the model what is in the image so let's see what model does here and there you go so model has responded that the image features a scenic view of the sun setting casting a warm orange glow across the sky there's a tree silhouette in on the left and the three kangaroos in motion at the bottom above a flock of birds can be seen flying against the backdrop of the sunset spot on okay let's try out another image next up i'm going to give an enemy jpeg here and this is the jpeg as you can see just an enemy now for this one i am just going to change this here i'm just going to say that okay enemy dot jpeg and then i'm going to call it who is in the image let's see what it says and there you go so it says that the image features a character named hikari owada from the anime series darling in the frank that's totally correct awesome stuff now let's check some ocr so this is the image with some of the characters and you can see not only it has english characters but special characters plus some german some french some numbers some email addresses so pretty complex now let's see what image does here and now what i'm going to do i'm going to start it in front of you and you can see it in real time how long does that take so let me start it okay so it says who's in the image okay so i think my prompt was wrong let me try again so i have changed it to extract all of the text in the image let me run again and see how long does it take in real time it is still running i'm just counting the seconds here there you go so i think under three seconds it was able to do it and there you go so you see the quick brown that is correct and then it uh, it has just given it a title and then it has uh yeah that is correct i think that is correct and then i think little mistakes if you see but i think if you check it rapido for example where is rapido it says it rapid and the, no but rapido here is fine yeah i think spot on totally correct amazing stuff and interestingly enough um it was very it was able to very intelligently guess that this is the title at the very first line so this is really good stuff so you can see that the ocr capabilities are really really good in the next example now let's see if it can read handwritten um, text so you can see that there is some handwritten there is some printed let's see if it it is able to do that and i am only extracting the text so let's run it and see what it does there you go very very quick so first two pages and then middle pages last two pages and then if i quickly go up again you see it says global warming is definitely a very huge issue let's go back global warming is definitely a very huge issue you see unbelievable unbelievable performance so totally spot on same goes with the uh, below one this one is a um, bit more cryptic but i think the effort is supreme even i cannot read what you know it the what exactly this word is but model has done pretty good job there pretty good job so that's it guys i believe one of the best ocr model in this size i have seen so far this year and very impressed by it i will drop the link to it in video description play around with it let me know how you go if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed 
then please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.